Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kapadia. In the last video, I talked about anesthesia and upper eyelid surgery. In this video, I'm going to talk about lower eyelid surgery. Upper eyelid surgery can often be done under local anesthesia. In contrast, lower eyelid surgery is much more uncomfortable, and I usually recommend general anesthesia for most patients. General anesthesia means an anesthetist puts you to sleep completely for the surgery, and you wake up when it's all done. It sounds a little scary, but it's actually extremely safe when done by qualified professionals. Lower eyelid surgery involves manipulating the fat, which is deep inside the eyelid. Local anesthetics do not work well in this setting, and the pulling sensation is very uncomfortable to patients. Some surgeons will try to do the surgery in the office under local anesthesia. This can save some money, but patients are often very uncomfortable during the surgery. Some of my patients will sometimes say they have a high pain threshold and would rather just do the surgery under local anesthesia and grin and bear any pain. Unfortunately, when there's pain during surgery, blood pressure goes up and there's a lot more bleeding. Bleeding can be dangerous and make it hard for the surgeon to see what he or she is doing and lead to suboptimal results. In my opinion, the trade-off is just not worth it. Another option is to do the surgery under twilight anesthesia or IV sedation. We sometimes do the surgery this way, but for most patients, it's usually better just to go to sleep completely for the surgery. When you go to sleep completely, the anesthetist has complete control of your airway and it's actually safer than heavy uh, intravenous sedation. I've done more than a thousand of these surgeries and these are my personal recommendations. Of course, other surgeons may have different opinions on this. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below and have a great day.